Hi, I'm Mike with Bard Tech Support, and this is your tech tip of the day. Communication, it's the foundation of our world. I mean, it's, it's what makes the world move right now, and uh, it's what keeps everything in sync and in harmony, and it's no different with uh, communication in our PLC product. If we don't have communication, we're gonna have chaos. So we need to make sure um, when we leave the site that the units are communicating with the supervisor controller. Uh, it's important to note that the units can run not connected to the supervisory controller in what we call orphan mode. So just because the units are running and cooling doesn't mean that they're communicating or not communicating. So the first thing we need to do is check and see whether they're communicating and we can do that with the supervisory control. All right, so um, the supervisory controller is going to tell you whether it's communicating or not. If it's not, you're going to see an alarm light up here in this alarm button. And when you press the button here, um, it's going to tell you what the alarm means. In this case, it says unit two is offline. So we know that we don't have a unit communicating, so we can address that. There's another way of, of checking that as well, and that's to come over to the control and using the information icon, we can hit enter and we can check and see, do we have units even in the controller? We may not have programmed them in. Uh, if they are, they should show up and we should see unit one. And when we check that, it'll say whether it's online or offline. If it's offline, obviously we need to uh, identify why. That's what we're gonna address today. Why would it not be online? Well, first thing we want you to check, and this is your tech tip here, is wiring to the supervisory controller. First thing you wanna check is this top green plug here. Is it plugged in to the board and seated tightly? That's the communication plug right there that goes down to this section here, and we wanna make sure that it's plugged in. Sometimes during transportation, they work loose. So make sure that that's tight. If it is tight, we wanna just verify that the two wires here are wired correctly to this terminal block here. And you can check that in the installation instructions. There's a wiring diagram um, and also in the, in the instructions for the unit and supervisory controller together. There's a package there. So we've checked that um, and verified that that wiring is correct. Well, how about the unit to the supervisory controller? Well, these are a daisy chain. So the polarity is very important. You have to maintain the same polarity from unit to unit to unit to supervisory controller. So we wanna make sure that the polarity is the same and that we don't have any breaks in that chain because if you have a break in the chain between two units you may pick up one unit but not all of the units they won't all communicate but remember one of them may still be running even though it's not communicating so that's your tech tip of the day check the wiring make sure that it's right